Daybreaker, or as I like to call her, Mightmare Noon. Please hold your applause. As far as the show's timeline is concerned, Daybreaker never existed. She was just a figment of Starlight's nightmare. But for not being real, she makes an excellent point. If Luna can turn into Nightmare Moon, you can absolutely turn into me. I never considered this potential for Celestia may have been there the whole time. It just hadn't triggered like Luna's. Though it could have under different circumstances. Just like how small changes in the timeline led to vastly different futures, one tiny detail would have flipped the script on the familiar first story this show ever told. And I think I know what that detail is. So if we want to understand why Celestia would go rogue, we have to fully understand why Luna did. We all know the story. The ponies enjoyed Celestia's day, but slept through Luna's night. Her jealousy boiled over, and she turned into Nightmare Moon. Pretty straightforward. But the more I think about it, the more something bothers me. The story is told as if the dream world and Luna's ability to walk in dreams doesn't exist. Yes, ponies sleep through the night, but that's the whole point. They live on in the dream world. Luna can still interact with them and feel their appreciation. If she wants ponies to enjoy the physical night, moon and stars, all she has to do is appear to them. Notice Luna brings the night with her wherever she goes, always appearing out of the moon. So just like how ponies played and basked in Celestia's sun, they can still dance in beautiful moonlit visions of Luna's night. When you consider this, Nightmare Moon's motivation begins to fade away. Did the story get it wrong? No, I did. Because I assumed Luna was walking in dreams back then. What if she only started after she turned back from Nightmare Moon? Think about it. Say Luna's only job was to raise the moon and rule the night, no dreams. Well, ruling over the waking world by night makes just as much sense as ruling the dream world by day. It's pointless. She raises the moon, waits for something to happen, anything, nothing. She lowers the moon. Wash, rinse, repeat. Meanwhile, Celestia's work is constantly and publicly acknowledged, appreciated, and enjoyed. So of course Luna became jealous. And even a thousand years later, after Luna repented, the initial problem was still there. That's when I think she started to explore other options. One season later, we see her trying to find her footing, where she fits in the world. Ultimately, she doesn't find it in the public sphere where Celestia found hers. Her big moment of gratification comes from a one-on-one -on -one interaction. Another season later, and what do you know, we get our first confirmed instance of dreamwalking. Instead of scaring ponies, she's comforting the scared. Her purpose is fully realized. Dreamwalking seems to fill all the holes that led her to become Nightmare Moon, which is why I don't think she walked in dreams before modern times. But how would things have been different if she had? Say a time traveler went back to when tensions were rising and told Luna the solution to her problem. That is the one variable I think would have made all the difference. Not only in preventing Nightmare Moon, but in causing Daybreaker. Let me explain. The season seven episode, A Royal Problem, gives us the clearest look we've gotten into Celestia's life. We see that her job is largely performative. She has to keep up in appearance. There's lots of smiling, photo shoots, forced laughter with snobbish dignitaries, business, business, and also a fair share of business. Not many ponies seem to really relate to Celestia. It's as if she's on a different level, which to be fair, she kinda is. But look at Luna. Her interactions mean something. They're personal, sincere, intimate. Celestia keeps the land in order, but who do the ponies go to for comfort? Not her. Celestia has always had physical appreciation, but Luna gets all of the emotional appreciation. Daybreaker's motivation is becoming clear. Just like with Nightmare Moon, she's jealous, because Luna has that personal connection that she doesn't. In her lowest moment, she tries to take her sister down so that ponies can only come to her. But the elements, they're on Luna's side this time, and the rest is alternate history. The only thing that changed to create this vastly different world? When Luna started walking in dreams. Better not give Starlight Glimmer any ideas. Now, none of this is to say Celestia has been a ticking time bomb all along. She seems fulfilled. Aside from her superficial duties, she's formed many true bonds. Maybe that's part of why she opened her school or took in Cadence, to fill that hole. But before she did those things, a dreamwalking sister to be jealous of may have been just enough to push her over the edge. But what do you guys think? When did Luna start walking in dreams? What might have caused Celestia to go rogue? Leave your thoughts in the comments. And if you like my videos, consider supporting me on Patreon. Your help would be very appreciated. And thank you so much to everyone who already has, especially my Alicorn tier patrons, Northern Light, The Nameless One, Namink, Fairfallen, Globe Amaranth, K 
Cameo Shadowness, Paco Taco, Darth Silar 12, and Equinox 3141. Your support helps make this channel possible. This has been the Brony Notion, signing out until Friday after next. Bro Hoof. <laughs>